Now that we're actually ready to start displaying some items, the big question that remains for me is how do I get my state, which is all of our data about posts and comments, how do I get that to, to go into main? And in regular React, how we do it is we, we take it at whatever level it lives on, which in our case would be provider, and you have to pass it down every single level, every down, and you keep going down and down and down. You pass it via props until you finally get to the thing that you want. However, with Redux, what we have is this thing called connect. And what connect will allow us to do is inject that data at whatever level we actually need it. And then we can pass it on down. Or if it is a couple more levels deeper than that, we can connect it at whatever level we need the actual data. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. We are going to both be connecting the data into the component that we need. And in our case, we have this main component where we need to inject the data into. And then we also need to make these action creators like increment, add comment, and remove comment. These are sort of our, our things that happen when you click or submit or click the heart or whatever action that you have in the application. These need to fire. So how do we expose both these functions to buttons as well as how do we expose the actual data to our component? And that's where the React Connect will come in. So we've got this main.js file and this one is... Uh, pretty much like a presentational component where really this is just HTML or DOM markup that we have here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this presentational component and infuse it with both the action creators so we can click on them and, and run them as well as the data. And the way that we do that is we create a second component that will uh, sort of like sprinkle the stuff on top. So uh, what I want to do here is I'm going to go to my components I'm going to open that on up. I'm going to make a new file called app.js. And inside of that, I'm going to need to import a couple things. So we're going to import bind action creators from Redux. And I'll explain all this in a second. We want to import uh, connect from React Redux. We want to import everything as our action creators from we want to take all of these. So we want to take increment, add comment, and remove comment, everything that gets exported. That's why we're using the star there from the actions forward slash action creators.js. And then finally, we want to import main from the main. So we want to take this component and import it. Good. I'm going to pop a quick little M on there, make sure it's spelled right. And now what we need to make is our actual app component. So we're going to say const app equals. And now instead of saying react.create class, how it's going to work is we say connect because we imported this connect method right from React Redux. And it takes two things. We first need map state to props. And we need map dispatch to props. These are two functions that are going to take the state, which is our posts and our comments and our uh, dispatch, which is our action creators here. And it's going to surface those data and the functions via props in our component. So we just create two functions here and we haven't yet created them, but I've typed them. And now let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and create them. So we're going to say function map state to props. And that's going to give us the state. And we are going to return all of the state that we need. So what are the two pieces of state that we need? We need posts is going to be state dot posts. And we have comments, which is going to be state dot comments. Why do I do that? Because we're going to have this dot props dot posts, this dot props dot comments. And it's going to take whatever it is that lives in our store or our state and map it to this dot props dot whatever. So I like to line them up. I like to name them the same things, but uh, it's not necessary. So that's the first one. And then we also want the dispatch to props. So function map dispatch to props. Uh, and that's going to pass us the dispatch. That's the dispatch method that we were mainly running. Remember we were in console here and we were running store.dispatch by ourselves. We no longer have to manually run dispatch because it's going to pass us this uh, these action creators via props. So we'll, we'll, if that's a little bit confusing, you'll, that'll make sense in just a second. Um, and what we do is we return the bind action creators function. We pass it all of our action creators, which is everything, these three 
functions that we've created in there. And then we also give it dispatch. And uh, these sort of two little functions are going to do the magic and surface both our data as well as our function via the component. So we've got here. And then I think the last step that we have here is we need to make this app component available to us. So I'm going to say export default app. And what that will do is make it uh, available to the other ones that import it. And we need to go back to our reduxtagram.js file. Why? Because right now we are rendering out this main component right here, but we need to change that main to actually be app.js, right? So we're going to, instead of importing main directly, we're going to be importing the app file. And then if we take a look at our app right here, we've imported the main component. And actually one last thing we need to do here is when we connect it, we call connect, but then you can immediately call it against main. And what that's going to do is it's going to take our regular main component, which is just a div and H1 and the link and the child component. And it's going to add all of the props, all of the data from state to props. And it's going to add all of our action creators, which uh, dispatch to our props as well. So give that a save. That was a lot of coding we did there. And let's go back to our app, give it a refresh and open up the provider, open up your router, open up your router context. Ah, look at this. Now we have the connect, which is connecting the data for us. But if you click on this main component, you should now see, ah, uh, look what we got going on here. A whole bunch of stuff. Even though we are rendering out the app component, it still is showing us that it's rendering the main component. And this is all the information that we ever possibly want here. Look, add comment. What is that? That's the action creator that we just made right here. We've got the posts. That's all of the data that we have to have about the posts. I'm sure we've got all of our comments in here. Yeah, look, there's all of our comments that we could ever possibly want. And we've got remove comment. And then we also have our increment, right? So all of our action creators, all of our data is now available to our main component. And that was made done because we used connect. So if you have ever grown about having to pass data down multiple levels, you still do have to pass down data from component to component if it's just a couple levels deep. But if you're in this case, we're like one, two, three, four, five levels deep. And for us to pass that down via props all the way is a bit of a pain. So rather than doing that, you can simply just connect it and connect will inject the data from our store into whatever level component that we actually need. So that's great. Now we've got the data that we're looking for. Let's go forward and get some stuff showing up on the screen. Okay.